Hi, this is Phil Hinton. Welcome back to our continuing coverage from EI Live. And right now I'm on the AWE stand and I'm going to talk to Sony about the new Bravia Projector 8 and Bravia Projector 9. Adam, we're here at EI Live, uh, showing off two new projectors from Sony. These are a big deal for you guys. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, we've very, very recently just announced two new um, new projectors to join uh, our home cinema projection family. Um, these two will actually be joining, taking on that kind of Bravia um, branding as well that we have. So um, in these two new units, we've got our new XR processing chip. So derived from our all of our picture processing experience and our Bravia professional displays, we've now integrated that to these two new projectors, the XW6100 uh, and the XW8100. And they're also called Projector 8, Bravia Projector 8 and Bravia Projector Bravia 9. Bravia Projector 8, Bravia Projector 9, absolutely. So in our Bravia um, display family, we've got um, the flagship units of Bravia 7, 8 and 9. So what we want to do is continue that level of branding, bringing that over to the home theatre side. So our, our kind of campaign strap line is bringing, bringing the cinema home. So it's really about these are the two kind of new flagship units that take on um, that new top end in our home cinema projection. And I know it's a silly question, but why should people be looking at Sony for projection? I mean, Sony, projection for us, it's a, a very much at the core of what we do. And as an organization, we are blessed that we have such a, a wide experience in, in, in the cinema industry. And we have that real unique positioning where we have right the way from the content creation to content delivery. So we've got Sony Pictures that are creating the content. It's filmed on um, Sony cinematography cameras, whether that's Venice, Verano. It's then graded as standard on one of our BVM um, monitors. And then it's then translated to whether it's a Bravia professional display, a Bravia um, for the home, or a home cinema projector. So we have the experience right in the way from that content creation to content delivery. So we know just exactly how that should be displayed uh, on the TV or on the, your, your cinema screen at home. So we really have, uh, it's, it's at the very heart of what we do and, and cinema is passionate to us. And especially with cinema projection, we're seeing you know that that market is a very consistent market for us. People really want to have that, you know, that cinema feeling at home with the nostalgia of having a projector over a big screen. So there's still a you know, very, very good market for us there. And we, we, you know, we want to constantly deliver that and improve that for our, for our customers. And it's interesting you say that because this is the year where we're seeing 98, 100, 105, 115 inch TVs coming yeah. to market and at pretty reasonable prices as well. Yeah. So that must be a challenge for, for the projection side or do you think there is there's still that segment where people will have projection over a big screen TV. Yeah, no, there's always, I think there'll definitely always be that segment where people want that, that projection over a TV. I think it's very much, you know, a lot of these projectors are going into dedicated rooms, but we're also seeing projectors now going into kind of media room setups where you've got a TV and a projection screen for your viewing experience. So depending on what content it is, um, there's, there's very much a mix, but I think for those real cinema enthusiasts, there's always going to be a big market there. And like I said, it's just that nostalgia of that cinema projector, that beam coming over and onto the screen and, um, and it's, it, it's, it's always been a very good market for us and you know we, we see that continuing into the future and with these new units we hope to kind of expand into, into further markets with that um, so that we can really continue that journey. Yeah so I've had the demonstration of both of the projectors yeah. um, so maybe tell our viewers the differences there because I was surprised with the difference between the two units it's not necessarily processing so but very much brightness. Yeah so in the brightness a step up there from the 6100 to the 8100, there's a bit more brightness. Um, so the brightness means that we can just expand on that HDR experience. So um, also in some of those kind of media rooms, um, media room environments, you've got that extra brightness that you need where there's a bit more ambient light perhaps just to you know, make sure that HDR experience is maximized. So you're really getting those really deep dark blacks, but also those kind of peak brightness points across the screen depending on the content. Yeah. Um, and also we've got the, um, like I said earlier, obviously we've got the XR um, chipset in these projectors, which uh, has come ahead from our previous X1 generation. So all of that picture processing that you were getting from the kind of Bravia, all that technology that's been derived over years, we've now put that into the projectors. So we're getting with that, we're getting the XR um, deep black, the XR um, clear image, uh, and all of that XR dynamic tone mapping as well to really optimize that HDR experience. And of course, HDR is very, very difficult to do for projectors. You just yes. you don't have that dynamic range built in there. So 
What are you doing with your tone mapping to try and get the most out of so the dynamic range? Utilising again that, that XR chipset, um, it's doing all of that picture processing on a frame by frame basis, so it is constantly monitoring the content that's on the screen and optimising the, the picture on screen for that content. So it can, all of that kind of intelligent AI in there using that algorithmic uh, formulas that they've got really to, to get the very best from that scene. So it knows exactly what that piece of content is and where to focus those back brightness, where to focus those dark areas. So it's doing, yeah, as we know with all of this intelligence stuff, it's doing all of that on a you know incredibly high frame basis yeah. um, really to maximize that. But as you said, you know HDR on, on projection is typically always quite challenging, but uh, the step on actually from, from you know, on the HDR on these units from our previous units is, is, is really impressive. And, We've had some phenomenal feedback from a lot of our dealers to, to yeah. say that you know how just how impressed they are that that's, that's come on. Uh, so obviously we're talking about the, the two top models, but how does the range look for 2024, 2025? So we've got quite a strong range at the moment. We have now we're carrying through our XW5000, so that will remain in the range, and then we have obviously the new units, the Bravia Projector 8 and the Bravia Projector 9, um, which will go the, the step up. We will still continue um, the XW7000 uh, while we have our stock remains, um, and we, that's it's a nice step up model for those. That, that want that performance from that unit as well. But going forward, it'll be the XW5000, Bravia Projector 8, and Bravia Projector 9. Well, they look like great units. I'll, I'll look forward to getting them in for review at some point yeah, in the very near future. Yeah. And uh, thanks for your time, Adam. No, Appreciate thank it. Thank you very much for your time, and yeah, hope you uh, get, have a good play with the unit when it arrives.